WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your Lebanon and Muppet. We've got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. The Dow's up 18 points. Russell's down 19 points. Uh, you've got the S&P up 32 points. The Nasdaq 100 up 204. Semis are up 18. Gold's trading down 19 bucks. Silver's off 50 cents. Like we crude off a buck 60. 30 year treasury down two points and eight ticks. Print out 121 and a quarter. Natural gas up two pennies. Trading out at 207. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin the upper left hand side. We've got the ES mini. What do we know about it? Well, it still has its road momentum indicator top in place. That gets negated if there is a close above 49.57.25. One tick up there. So you want to watch that at day's end. Spot volatilities is still above its 50-day exponential moving average. Hmm, something to think about. And as long as that condition remains, well, that means the move in the ES Mini is a little bit suspect. But we'll see. Now, if you get a close in the ES about 49.57 and a quarter, and you get a spot volatility that close below 13.63, odds favor we move higher. The NQ still has its road momentum indicator top. Price is testing the resistance area of the top of its daily profile. The top of that profile is at 17.683, our high today, 17.667. We take a look at the U.S. dollar index. is traded above the top of its daily profile, maybe signaling to an eye that it wants to get up to the bottom of its weekly profile. That's at the 104.66 level. If you take a look at Goldilocks, it's just been consolidating with inside its daily profile. Between 2048 and 2076, silver doing the same. Earlier this morning, we saw silver pull back to test its support zone. And that zone out there is between 2237 and 2254. If we take a look at light speed crude, it is Right now, trading below its bullish structure daily profile. A close below 73.23 is going to suggest that we head lower. However, let me just turn on my trend line tool here real quickly. Looks like maybe we're running into a rising trend line bottom out there. Let me see here. Do I have that handy? Let's turn that on. And sure enough, we are. So with regard to light sweet crude, we are at a potential support level, even though we are down below the bottom of that bullish structure daily profile. Natural gas, hey, we're waiting for a weekly bullish reversal candle for all of us to get along that. Right now, price is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. Not a good scene. And we can see here in the case of the 30-year treasure, it's back inside his profile. It says yesterday's move was a false breakout to the upside. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge show, if you will. But if you have to start your Friday, please have a fabulous and a fantastic one. And we look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.